It has been a bit of an active afternoon and evening. We've been tracking some of those strong storms across the region. You can see some of those dark clouds showing up on your camera right here at the TV station. We are tracking that potential for some strong winds, heavy rainfall, and then some small hail as well. Right now, there is a lot of activity showing up on the radar. We actually have an observed tornado in the Evansville area, so if you do have friends or family out that way, uh, you may want to give them a call and check on them. But right now, uh, we're tracking storms uh, across parts of southern Illinois. Into our region, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning in place for Gallatin, Hardin, and Pope counties. We're talking about 60 mile per hour winds and quarter size hail. This has been issued until 7 o'clock. Again, you can see the strongest part of that storm right now pushing to the south and east going to be moving into Rosa Claire. Eventually this will be pushing towards Golconda and then into parts of western Kentucky. So here's a rough track and some timing on that storm. Gusty winds will be the main threat. Shifting that view a little bit further off to the north and west, we do have another severe thunderstorm warning that has just been issued for parts of Jackson and Perry counties. That is also for 60 mile per hour winds and then also small hail. That severe thunderstorm warning is going to go until about 730. So you can see that storm very close to Virgin's going to be moving into the Carbondale area. Carbondale, you are highlighted uh, in this severe thunderstorm warning. So we'll be keeping a very close eye on these through the rest of the evening. All of these storms are going to continue to move to the south and east across the area through the remainder of the evening hours. The main threat is going to be those high gusty winds between 60 and 70 miles per hour. We could also see some small hail. That tornado threat's pretty small. And then where we see those storms track over the same areas over and over again, that's where we could see some of those flash flooding issues. So kind of a lot to keep track of tonight. So that threat tracker bar it is pretty high for the next couple of hours and it stays high as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday. But for different reasons, we're going to continue to see the dangerous heat for the next couple of days. So we will be again needing to stay alert and hydrated for a couple more days before we see that cool down. A slight cool down will arrive as we head into the weekend and we'll see a break from some of the storms as well. So a wide look of what we're tracking tonight. Again, a lot of storm activity across our region. Region. It'll continue to work its way through through the next couple of hours. That future cast starts to take some of these storms completely out of the area by about 10 11 o'clock. It does leave a chance for a stray shower or storm as we head into your Wednesday morning and then through the rest of the day on Wednesday. It does look like we'll end up dry. The only caveat is without any storm chances, there's not going to be any relief from the heat. It's going to be extremely uncomfortable tomorrow. Keep that storm track three app around. You can, of course, get those alerts sent right to your phone. We're tracking the storms tonight and we have several heat alerts across the region. An excessive heat warning has been issued for most of the viewing area until 8 p.m. on Thursday. Yesterday when we talked about this, it went through Wednesday that has been extended. So Again, check on your family, check on your neighbors. Don't forget about your pets. We're talking about high temperatures running in the mid to upper 90s, so well above average. And then even when we see that cool down, we're only going to be dipping down close to 90 as we head into the weekend. When you take into account that humidity as well, we're talking about that heat index tomorrow afternoon running close to 110 again. And then that is going to continue to be the case as we head into your Thursday afternoon. So extremely uncomfortable as we head into the weekend. We at least dry out though. We get a break from some of the storm activity. Now, if you look at next week, we are expecting those high temperatures to climb back up into the mid 90s by the time we get to Tuesday. So not a lot of relief in sight, Mark. But a little bit, a little bit of relief. A little bit. It'll definitely feel better. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Thank you, JC.